Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking. Welcome to my Superman tier ranking. Uh, not as big as a tier ranking as like, you know, the X-Men one and the Spider-Man one because um, for, when it came to Superman, I only wanted to focus on mostly, mostly Superman. Yeah, there's some Superman Batman stuff here, but mostly Superman as the you know, kind of like the titular character. He's a, he's a main character in the story. I didn't want to have any Justice League stuff because, well, in the live-action Justice League movies, he's barely in them. So I wanted to focus mostly on Superman. And there's a, there's a bunch of animated movies uh, I haven't seen. I, I've seen a few. I've seen a few of the Superman animated films, so I'll be including them. I have the Superman shows, the Superman movies and stuff. So, and I don't know the games because I've only played the 64 game and y'all know it's a piece of shit. So, yeah, I'm just going to talk about things just related to Superman. And yes, Batman a little too because he's the main character with him, but mostly stuff with Superman as the main character. So, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, where's Justice League and stuff? No, just things focused on Superman. So, let's get to it. I'm going to start with the movies, of course. And the first Superman movie from 1978 is 100% an S-tier movie. It's a great Superman movie. When it comes to Superman, this is like the quintessential perfect Superman movie. It's It's got a great story. It's um, got a great villain, a Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor. You got even a little uh, snippet of Terrence Stamp as General Zod. You got... Amazing Marlon Brando not being able to pr pronounce Krypton <laughs> properly. <laughs> the planet Krypton. Christopher Reeve is always going to be the greatest Superman slash Clark Kent ever. Mark Kindler as Lois Lane is good stuff. Um, you got Otis. I love Otis. Otis! <laughs> um, there's a lot of great great stuff in, in this movie. And just it, it always makes me smile. I love the classic feel and the timeless feel. It, it makes no sense in some moments, especially when he, like, you know, spins the earth, but I still, I still to this day, I, I love this movie. Absolutely love it. And then Superman 2 is an A tier. Mostly, I'm going with the Donner cut. There's the Richard Lester cut, which isn't bad. I, I, I put the Lester cut at, uh, like, a B, but I like the Donner cut more. It shows more with Marlon Brando, and it, was more with Zod and more with uh, Clark not having his powers. There's, it's an interesting story about Clark not wanting to be Superman no more. And Christopher Reeves' performance is so good, and the relationship with him, Lois, is great. General Zod, Terrence Stamp is always just like, man, he's just having a good time in this role. And it's just a really fun Superman movie with some uh, really good, uh, really good stuff in it. Really good story. I, I've always loved these Superman movies. I grew up with them. As a kid, so they always have a special place in my heart. However, then we get to Superman 3, which is really bad. It's a, it's a really bad movie. Even the beginning of the movie, you're in, like, you're like, what the fuck is going on? It starts off like a like a comedy, and like, I don't know why they would want a thing that just makes Superman a straight comedy movie. Like, yeah, sure, you got Richard Pryor. Love Richard Pryor, but what the fuck is he doing in a Superman movie? If it was like a like a ten second cameo, fine, but it's not. He's like a main character in the movie. There's a co like I still love Christopher Reeve in the movie. I still think he's really good. And there's like a moment here and two that like okay that works, but it is a terrible, terrible fucking film. That just like oh god, like you know, how could the, this get any worse? And then a quest for peace came, and it's one of the worst superhero movies ever made. It's just trash. Everyone's trash in it. They rehash old stuff. They have Nuclear Man, and it's hilarious that this movie came out in the late '80s, ten years after the first one, and the first one has way better visuals. This movie was terrible. It, it was made to make some desperate money off of the brand of Superman, and it was trash. And everyone was mostly just fat, focusing on the Batman. <laughs> and then, years, decades later, Superman Returns. Literally returns with Superman Returns. I'm just so mixed on Superman Returns. Because it's not a very good movie. 
but I don't hate it like everyone else. I'll go, I'll go C for Superman Returns. Because it's not a very good movie, because it's very long and very boring. However, if you watch the director's cut, the opening is just fucking solid. And it was really great to see Marlon Brando again. Um, I think Brandon Ralph tries his best. He's a decent Superman. He's an awful Clark Kent. Kate Bosworth is terrible. Lois Lane. Kevin Spacey is trying his legs. So just, I don't know. The action that is in the movie is really good. Like, there's some solid action scenes. The airplane scene is a gr the airplane scene is fantastic. And there is some interesting stuff in it, but there's also a lot of stupid things in it. And just, I'm always, like, up and down on this movie. I don't hate it like everyone else, but I don't think it's very good. It's more just, like, an average movie. And speaking of average, uh, Man of Steel is also an average movie. And I know everyone, the, the people love it. People love this movie. I think it's just okay. I know I used to, like, hate on this movie. And after re-watching it a few times, I've grown a little more appreciation towards it. But not much appreciation, because it's still not a very good movie. Henry Cavill is interesting Superman. I think... Amy Adams is a terrible Lois Lane, just as terrible as Kate Bosworth was. I think Kevin Costner is a pretty okay Jonathan Kent. I love Russell Crowe as Jarrell. I think he's a great Jarrell. Um, Michael Shannon's a little over the top. Um, I love uh, Lawrence Fishburne. It's Perry Perry White is great. Um, there's great action. The action is the best part of this fucking movie. It's fucking amazing action sequences in this movie. But there's also just a lot of staleness and it's so dark and brooding. And I, I hate the lens flares and just the way it looks it looks so dark and dingy. The colors of the movie I, I don't like that. And just, I don't know, the, the Superman that they gave us is not the Superman I really enjoy. And then Batman v Superman, I'm in the same boat with that. Like, I loved, I actually really enjoyed Ben Affleck as Batman. Just, but again, it's the Superman story that I'm just, I just, you know, not a fan of. And is that it for the live action movies? All right, let's get to the animated movies. Um... I'm going to start with the animated show. Uh, the animated show is a B tier. The Superman animated show is really good. Uh, the, the opening is really great. The stuff on Krypton. There's some solid episodes. Uh, there's a lot of cheesiness. And you can tell this movie, not this movie, the show was really made for kids mostly. Like when you watch Batman the animated series, you can tell that was made for everybody. This one did gear a little more to the kids, but still enjoyed it. And then there's the animated movies. Uh, Doomsday is also is a pretty good one. Um, I, I liked the Superman Doomsday movie. I, I liked James Marsters as Lex Luthor. And the stuff with Lex Luthor is really great. Uh, that he's so obsessed of being Superman. He clones a Superman just so he can like beat him to death. The stuff with Doomsday is cool. The action is cool. But again, it's a little short and just a little rushed. Um, Superman All-Star is trash. I fucking hate this movie. I think it's terrible. I think the animation is fucking hideous. And it is the most shittiest story out of all Superman stories. It's so bad. And Superman Batman Apocalypse is not much better. However, Public Enemies was a lot. It was fun. I, I thought Public Enemies was pretty enjoyable. That Superman and Batman are like enemy number one. And all these villains are after them. It's pretty cool. Like Metallo and stuff. It's it's like a fun movie. It's it's like a fun action buddy movie. All right, let's get to the shows. All right, we got Dean Cain's Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark was a pretty fun show. It's cheesy. It's very soap opera. So very soap opera esque. It's 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 corny, but it's it's enjoyable. It's not meant to be like an action show. It's meant to be like a fun romantic comedy, and it works for what it is. And then there's Smallville, which I've always adored because I, I grew up with it. But it, there's a lot of it that doesn't work. I'm going to go B for Smallville. I think Tom Willing is a fantastic Clark Kent. I think he's the best Clark Kent we've ever seen. He's the best. His Superman's lacking still that goes to Christopher Reeve, but uh, his Clark Kent is incredible, top-notch. Best Clark Kent you'll ever watch. 
and like Superman growing up in high school and dealing with all, all the stuff is great. Michael Rosenboom is the best Lex Luthor I've seen. He's a great Lex Luthor. Their friendship is so fascinating, and it turns to like this enemy and it turns to these enemies. It's actually sad watching the friendship break apart, and and like there's great stuff and how it leads into Superman is good, really good stuff. However, there's a lot of teen bullshit. Like, the stuff with Lana is annoying. Fucking annoying. And that, like, drags on for, like, five seasons. And it's really, really annoying. The high school stuff can be a little stupid. There's a lot of, like, borrowed tropes for, like, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like, the monster of the week. But this one, it's, like, the meteor meteor infected of the week. And it's a little ridiculous. But when it starts tying into the Superman stuff, it's good. It's good. But you gotta get through a lot of that bullshit filler. So, to me, it... Some of it does not hold up, but some of it really does. It's still a good show, and it still has a, you know, a place in my heart. Then there's Superman and Lois, which I have recently watched. I watched it, like, a few months back, and it was really fucking good. For a CW show, I'm jaw-dropped of how good it was. I'm gonna leave it there. Maybe I'll do a whole video on this one. Alright, let's put this in order. Superman, Superman 2, Superman Lois. Done. Uh, I gotta go Smallville for the B tier. Then... Hmm. I'm gonna go Lois and Clark. S Superman animated series. Yeah, then Public Enemies, then Doomsday. B tier. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. There we go. For the C tier, I'll go Man of Steel, Superman Returns, Batman v Superman. Now... Yeah, that looks better. Uh, then boop, and then boop. There we go. That was my Superman tier ranking. Hope you all enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments below what is your favorite Superman movie slash television show. Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.